Hello everybody, welcome back. Siri Tech here. I've got an update on the 83 millimeter build that I've been working on. So the, <clears throat> excuse me, the first build that I had put together, I was utilizing the flight controller and ESC from the Beta 65. Well, I actually had an issue. I'm not sure if this will focus. Where one of these, I don't know if it will focus. So there's these little chips that are right by where you connect your motors, and this will not focus for life of me. There we go. So there's those little chips there. Well, one of them is damaged, and it causes this whole thing to freak out. So I got a new stack. Um, I got this from uh, USAQ on, or on Amazon. And they had awesome two-day shipping, so I picked this up. And this is a Super SF3. I got two of them. So I threw that in here. It's the same uh, flight controller. Well, actually, it's a little bit different. The flight controller is a little bit different. Um, the, the board layout's a little bit different, but they both support OSD, and um, there's no additional features with this flight controller as opposed to the one that I had. Um, I'll have links in the description to all this stuff. So... For this build, what I did was I used the new fly tower um, from RJX Hobbies. I picked up a really awesome, here's a little case for the, or the, that's what the brand logo looks like. <laughs> so um, I picked up a really cool camera mount from them. This is 3D printed, it's pretty awesome. Um, I ended up having to get uh, M2 standoffs kit so that I could finish this build because I kept breaking them. Um, I got some Maker Fire. Uh, Guard, or not prop guards, but motor guards, and these also work as um, landing gear, but they were a little bit short for the 2S battery underneath it, so I think these are more so designed for 1S builds, but I ended up throwing some shrink wrap, or I'm sorry, some heat shrink over the these to get them to stand up enough, so you can see now I've got plenty of clearance for my battery. Um, but yeah, this thing's flying pretty good. I'm actually going to cut away to a little bit of flight footage from my uh, Maiden. Definitely let me know what you think. I fly pretty casual on it, nothing too crazy. I was just testing it out. Um, if you guys have any questions about this build, definitely feel free to ask. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll have links in the description to everything you'll see here. And um, yeah, I think that's all today. So go ahead and stay tuned for this flight footage. And as always, guys, fly safe and fly often.